Hi guys, this is one of my first blog posts or vlog posts for in all and I wanted to share something with you, a challenge that I've had very recently. Um, I was going to be coming to Wales for one last trip before Christmas for work and my back decided to give out and I have a back condition and it's whenever I'm stressed then it straight away hits a weak spot in your body and for me that's my back. So I had to cancel. That was one of the hardest decisions I've had to make because I am not somebody to lie down and let things happen and it felt like my body was taking away my choice. The funny thing that I've realized in the past few weeks is the fact that apparently I do accept mentally if my body's not functioning properly. I accept that I then can't do something. But when I'm mentally tired, which is happening a lot at the moment because there's a lot of stuff going on in my life, when I'm mentally tired, then I don't feel that that's a justification, an acceptable justification for why you then have to maybe cancel something. And if I'm honest, I was pretty tired as well. My body was telling me that, but I was mentally tired as well. And I still am. And yet, if somebody would have said to me, Monique, you're tired, it's okay, just cancel and you'll figure it out, I would not have been able to do that at all. So I've discovered that if I physically can't do something because of my back condition, then I can accept that. But if I mentally can't do something because I'm just exhausted, and that's my cat, <laughs> then I don't feel like the reason is good enough. And that's crazy because I would say to anybody that if you are mentally tired, that that's basically a warning sign and that you should take it seriously because otherwise, yeah, maybe you will then get a physical problem like getting sick and getting a cold. Yet for me, that doesn't seem to apply. So... I just had a coaching conversation with my own autism coach and we figured out that I that's something I really, really want to work on because this is not realistic. I'm going to be mentally tired trying to do work in Holland and trying to do work in Britain. It's it's going to be challenging. That's a given. So I've got to figure this out. So that's going to be the next theme for what I'm going to be doing and working together with my coach. And that's why good coaching is so, so important because this is not something that I would be able to figure out on my own. I'll keep you posted.